pardon me good morning good morning you you caught me in my favorite season I've got my fall colors on I have my fall coffee cup I love this time of year I don't know what it is about it it just makes me feel so alive and so wonderful and so just fantastic it's really really great I'm hoping that you are enjoying this beautiful beautiful Sunday morning it is such a beautiful day such a beautiful day thank you so much for being here I'm going to uh, wait a few more moments for people to join in I know that you're out and about today just enjoying this wonderful wonderful time the weather here in Tallahassee is gorgeous I love this time of year it's so crisp in the morning the morning walks are just so enlivening I mean just to feel that right Ruth it's so great to just have that wonderful feeling it's energizing it's amazing it truly is my favorite time of year it really really is there's a lot of aspects and a lot of things happening to us right now and I've had a lot of messages about it uh, that uh, downloads if you will that have really brought me to this place of wanting to share it and I really feel it deep in my in my being I my my connection my higher self is really feeling all of that it really is a great time the title today about creating um, a reframing the past to to really create our now is was really coming to me for a lot of reasons if you've been and I mean it's hard to miss watching what's happening in the political sector and uh, hey Wendy good morning and and hearing what's happening to the president I wish everyone whole healthy well I wish everyone to be whole healthy and well it's not a matter of my judgment or discerning who deserves that everyone deserves that so if you know there's just so much going on that can good morning Denise that can be distracting to us and sometimes what it does is call up inside of us some things that maybe we don't really want to deal about and really talk about so that's what I want to focus on today but my first message was no matter what no matter anything wishing everyone everyone wellness now when I say the aspects are supporting us it's because to, the moon is in Taurus the moon in, in Taurus is an earth sign <clears throat> and it's joins Uranus today so there may be some surprises in terms of things to release and that's what's really important because Uranus is all about surprises and the possibility of things coming up for us that we weren't aware of or in that coming up for us things to reframe or things to release either way the it works for you is right it doesn't really matter because this is about how it affects you the whole point is our goal what we are looking at is not the healing process but wellness and in wellness we have freedom I love that word doesn't that feel good just breathe in freedom it doesn't really matter because you are in charge when you have freedom no one else can affect that and that's our real main purpose of being here is to know that we are fully in charge of us what and anything is happening around us doesn't matter that being fully in charge of us comes from how we feel about us and that how I, and that's one of the things I've been working on and one of the things I've noticed with my clients everything comes down to how you feel about you because in your perception of you is how you perceive what is around you now right now the Sun is in Libra yay Pam she's in Alabama and starts radiation and chemo treatments we wish you the best I started out with the with the message of being whole healthy and well and that is especially directed to you Pam wishing you all the best and glad you had a safe journey to Birmingham that was so great I'm so glad you're there on your journey to wellness 
Libra Sun is about relationships. It's about balance. Yes, so was I. I was listening to that this morning too, Ruth, and that's that's what really had me even move more so to this place about balance and cooperation and being together <clears throat> in all of this. Yes, Sagittarius rocks, Rose, that's, and um, Ruth will join you on that one. Today, Pluto goes direct. That means that all the Capricorn planets, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are now direct. They're now moving forward. What we have been clearing away to create our balance with this Libra sun and to create our foundation is now here. We can now implement it. <clears throat> and that's why today is really important because this allows us in this reframing to strengthen our foundation of how we want to see ourselves. And in seeing how we want to see ourselves, we see the world. And that's what's important. Now, I talk about the direct planets. We all know that Mercury is going retrograde on October 13th. That's just going to help implement just another way of seeing ourselves clearly. Okay, what does that mean? Scorpio is going retrograde in Scorpio before it goes back into Libra and goes direct. What that means is we're digging deep now to really know what we want. And that will just really cement what we're doing today. And all of these things support us. And whether or not, and I really want to make this clear, whether or not these aspects are here giving us this extra energy, you always have it. The one thing, hey Madonna, the one thing that is so important is that you understand that no matter what happens with, with when we do tarot, because I get to do my, my Halloween tarot cards, whatever the aspects are, you have the power, you have the power to make the choices that are best for you. So as we come to that, you have the power to make those choices. And good morning, Marie. I'm so glad you're here and I'm going to be talking to you soon. Yay. This is what's important. What if you said to yourself, and what if you start with the premise that whatever choices you made in the past were the right choices and to, to guide you to where you are right now? Now, I, I want you to just think about that because as you're thinking about it, I have been thinking to myself, and I do this and in, in, in wash away those, because I'm working on this all the time. This is, this is always a work in progress. When I think about some of the relationship choices that I've made in the past, and it may bring, a, or financial choices I made in the past that did not at that time work out to be the best for me, whether relationships, whether money, whether uh, jobs, whatever that happens to be. And what comes up in me from these past choices is I'm ashamed that I decided that. I feel guilty. What if anybody found out? And most people know anyway, but it doesn't really matter. What if people found out that this is what happened, that I made this, what I would say to myself, but I'm saying it for the sake of this presentation and, and putting it in perspective, that dumb choice. I don't view it that way anymore. But what if I said those things to myself? How does that feel? That puts me in a place of blocking, that puts me in a place of being small, that puts me in a place of not being enough. The reframing and these thoughts and feelings when they come up had me thinking, okay, I can't change the past, but I can reframe it in my thoughts. All of my power is in the right now. So how can I change now? Do I want to stay in those feelings of shame and guilt and embarrassment and all, all those negative feelings? Or do I want to see myself as flourishing, as thriving because of it? So if I can be annoyed by, with myself, if I can see all these things in such a way, how do I change it? How do I reframe it? Well, 
some relationship choices. There were people that I allowed to stay in my life that were not supportive or loving or unconditional. That allowed me then to complete this cycle of, no, I can't do this. No, I'm not good enough. No, and of course, people in my life reinforce that because I attracted it. How do I reframe it? How do I see it differently? Especially some of those people that I dated after my husband died. It's like, oh my God, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? It doesn't matter. If we start with the premise that every decision that was made was the perfect decision for that moment, as my son likes to say, it seemed like a good decision at the time. It seemed like the, the right thing at the time. And it did. But it wasn't in the long run until it made me reframe it. I reframed it in the today to, isn't it wonderful that I met those people to show me who I am yeah, the one syllable man, Ruth knows me so well. Yeah, the one syllable man. To show me who I am truly. Some financial decisions that I made based on whatever seemed like a, a good idea at the time, in the long run, were hurting me. How do I reframe it today? Those decisions allowed me to see myself clear and abundant and flourishing. But I wouldn't have known that unless I had the contrast of those quote unquote dumb decisions. Am I making decisions based on fear? And I've made some of those too that really put me even deeper because any decision based on fear does not have a positive outcome. Decisions based on love and positivity have a positive outcome. I mean, that's just the way it goes. You know, you start with a full cup, you're going to end up with a cup that's more overflowing. You start with an empty cup, there's nothing left but to stay empty. It just works that way. But how do I reframe the thought? So I, this is one of the tools that I use um, with my clients and in coaching. I start with that negative thought about myself. I'm not enough. I, I don't have any money. Look at the people that are in my life, the, the uh, partners that I attract. I start with that negative thought. I'm not loved. You can go through the list. I'm not confident or capable. You can start with any of those, those thoughts that came out of what you and I have called poor or bad decisions and reframe it for today. The power is in the now. How we change everything is in the now, right in this moment. We can't change the past. We can't do anything about the future. We can envision it. We can create it. And what are we creating? We're creating it right now. So I take that thought, oh, I'm not enough. I've had that often. <laughs> I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. And I reframe it to I am the best that I can be, and I am so blessed. Thank you, because I always end it with thank you, because I am grateful. I am appreciative of what I am right now. Oh, my, my financial decisions have been disgusting, and money just does not come into my life. I've changed that, and I move it into, I know I love money, and it flows easy, easily and effortlessly into my life. I am blessed. Thank you. Changing those. Now, one sentence isn't going to do it. It has to feel it. You have to feel it here. Because anytime we have that negative, negative, negative thought that comes to us, it comes from, it comes from our loss of connection. That loss of connection that we will have. Now, um, Ruth, if you'll do me a favor, because I was talking as people were coming on, would you just um, let me know the first three people that are to get 
cards that engaged because somehow I overlooked that part because I got into I, I really was guided to to focus on reframing and putting us in a positive place with everything that's happening around us so if you could just put that in the chat for me please Ruth I would appreciate it greatly thank you thank you again there's so much and I am going on with us outside of ourselves the most important thing that we can do is focus on who we are right now and that is the best that we can be so Wendy Denise and one more you'll let me know this is an amazing time we are oh Pam yay Pam we are working with such unbelievable energies now think about what you as a person just by changing your thoughts your energy your heart in sending out that positive 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 message even just energetically how that can change the world because it can it really really can we see enough of the negative stuff I don't wish anyone ill I want to see us whole healthy and well I want to see us as as people and as a country compassionate and caring and understanding and accepting and loving but all of that all of that starts only starts with how much we love ourselves and take care of ourselves and that's what really counts okay um, that's been a real overwhelming thought and I, I'm just going to take the cards right now because I just want to divide it up once and see what's happening okay in in this the the uh, cards that I wanted to show you is just this energy that we're feeling right now and the card that came was the Queen of Pumpkins now this is my Halloween deck deck pumpkins in this deck is earth sign exactly let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me and the other quotation that I love though it's not a direct quote of Gandhi is <laughs> that I want to be that I okay I'll, it'll come to me I'm so sorry I used it and quoted it and I even looked it up because I wanted to that be the change you want to see in the world and I wanted to make sure that I had that correct be the change you want to see in the world and that is that is not a direct quote from Gandhi although Gandhi is is attributed as the one that spoke it his his version of it was much longer but yes be the change you want to see in the world you be the change you want to see in the world I will be the change I want to see in the world what if we all pick that up that's what's really important here we have the Queen of Pumpkins this is the same as the um, the Queen of Pentacles she is about the harvest she's about that grounding she's about bringing all that goodness to you because you already have it in you so how, if you already have this in you how can it not flourish outside of you and around you because that's what you're attracting the Queen of Pumpkins is a beautiful card I love this card know that you have this nurturing powerful energy within you already you can do this you can gather harvest be abundant in all things it's not just about money it's about thoughts it's about love it's about caring it's about making sure that you are well so we all are well so I love this card I just had to do one because that was really really important hmm and the next card that showed up was the page of ghosts ghosts is the uh, sign for the water sign so it's about cups so the page is the one that sends that shares the message of the king this is feelings love emotion the page of cups was the card after the Queen of Pumpkins you have this harvest you have this abundance you have all of this in you and now spread the word whether it's a word in itself 
speaking to others, or if it's just the energy that you're sending out. That's what really this is about. So I love how the cards kind of show, I don't know, it reflects the energy and I didn't even shuffle them. I just picked them up and, and held them. So yes, this is really important. Catherine, I'm so glad you're here. And yes, Wendy, hello to all of the Online Tarot Gallery Reading Sisters. And that link is not in the notes, but any person that would love joining, uh, please just message me because we have a great time on the third Thursday. That uh, session is full, so I had to open up a second, another session, which is okay Denise yay which we have to hold up uh, excuse me I had to open up a second session because the first one was full and that's going to be on Tuesday nights at seven o'clock or Tuesday at noon I prefer the evenings most people do prefer the evenings but it's going to be your choice so that's what's really good now I'm going to shuffle the cards because Wendy Denise and Pam were the first three to engage on the page. Thank you, Ruth, for letting me know that. Let me shuffle these and I get to play with my Halloween cards, which I absolutely love. So here we go. Okay, this is for Wendy. Okay, so there's a lot of queens going on here, Wendy. Hmm. This is the queen of bats. This is the air sign. So it's going to be the queen of swords. Now, what I'm feeling from this, Wendy, is that you have a message that you have to give this week that, um, or soon, whenever it happens to be. And because of the changes you've been making in who you are, what your direction is, I mean, it, and, and what you want to do, that's all right. We are queens. Isn't that amazing? It's perfect. It's the truth. It's our energy. What this card is feeling though, Wendy, is that you're going to have to give a message to someone that could be uncomfortable for you, but it has to be the truth and it has to be spoken and it has to be said because it's part of your clearing. It's part of something that's come up for you that's that's uncomfortable. And you know that it has to, you, you can't continue this way. You have to say whatever has to be said. The Queen of Bats, Queen of Swords, has that pointed sword. So many times, the way that the Queen of Swords, or in this case, because it's my Halloween deck, the Queen of Bats conveys a message, it can be very pointed. It can be very pointed. And to the receiver, it can feel like they're being pricked by the point of that sword. But the point is, it's done with love. Any message that you have to convey, do it with love. As pointed as it may be, it must be done with love. Now, when I say love, it starts with you first. All of the things that happen around us now come from self-love. The more we reflect on how we feel about ourselves and that self-love, the easier it is for us to handle the world around us. If we love ourselves enough, what's going on around us really doesn't bother us because we don't see it. We're already surrounded by love. So whatever it is that you have to have to handle is the best word I can think of, right? That you know, this this at this time, Wendy, know that yes, you have to say it, yes, the words have to be said, and they can be said with love. Um I'm feeling this strongly because you're uh, you're on that path where this is how you want to live your life and we all should be living our lives this way but sometimes it's not easy but I know that you have this you you can do this and it all comes from love all comes from love and that outcome you're the joy lady Wendy so that outcome has to be joy as well so there you go. Okay. Candy and Su Susan, I'm so happy to see you here. If there's anything else I can help you with that, Wendy, just let me know. Okay. Happy to do it. All right. Denise, let me shuffle the cards. Here we go.
Oh, nice. Okay. This really, th I love this card. Here we go. Eight of Pumpkins. This is the Eight of Pentacles. I love this card. And it reflects everything that's been going on for you. This is amazing. This is about now step back and reflect on all that you've been doing. You've been, you made your first level of achievement in doTERRA and you even raised the bar on the goal that you want to achieve. This shows and reflects the return to you of your hard work. But I'm not feeling like this is hard work. I'm feeling from you, Denise, that you love, as you said in your statement on Facebook, you love sharing, you love sharing your joy of oils and now being involved with doTERRA and, and, and the challenge that you're involved with with that, you are now just lining them up up here with just beautiful things going on and you continue to work with love, not work like, oh my God, this is my responsibility, I must get this done. The other part of this card and the other part of this says, that you are good at it. You are wonderful at it. And that's what this is saying. So just keep it up because it's all good. And it's all yours. Ooh, that, that wasn't, that was just given. So it's all yours. Okay. It isn't work, right, Denise? You absolutely love it. You and Michael both with what you're doing. So I think it's absolutely great. Yes. Okay. One more shuffle. And this is for Pam. We're all sending Pam that wonderful healing energy as she is receiving treatment. She said maybe, so we're going, we're, we see you as well, Pam. So um, as long as we see you as well, how that happens, the universe is in charge of and the universe will make that happen. So however that happens, um, we're not in charge of that. We're just seeing you healed and well. The journey of getting there will be handled by the universe, by source, by spirit. But we're seeing you in that beautiful state of wellness. Okay. All right, Pam, here we go. <clears throat> and your positive attitude has a lot to do with it. Okay, this is the Ace of Pumpkins. So this makes it, <clears throat> excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles, the Earth sign. This is the hand of God handing you this full jack-o'-lantern filled with all the abundance <clears throat> that you can think of. Notice also the Easter lilies down here, which is about rebirth. So when we think about this card, this is about you beginning this journey, beginning it with the notion that you are whole, well, and healthy right now. You have everything you need right here. You are whole, well, and healthy right now, Pam. And if you go through and read these beautiful messages to you, that's the only way that you can feel, is you are renewed, you are whole, you are well, you are healthy, and you are loved. That's the most important part that I want you to know. This is a beautiful card. Yes, it's a Halloween card and it looks fun, but the message behind it is so deep and so strong so deep and so strong. Again, this is the hand of spirit, God, source, giving you this abundance. Oh, I love this. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm called to do one more card. By the way, I'm so glad Angie's on here as well, because this coming Saturday, 10, 10 at 10, which is October 10th at 10 o'clock, which is Saturday, so it's 10, 10, 10 
at 10, 10, at 10, we are having our second tarot flow. And I am so excited about it because it is a collaboration of Angie and myself. Some of you that are on here have uh, participated in it in the past and we already have people signed up. I know Denise and Michael and, and uh, well, Michael wasn't on the last time, but, but Denise was and Ruth was and um, I'm not sure who else on here was, but Angie, yes, there it goes. And would you also, Angie, in the comments, um, put in the uh, bit.ly link. I put it in the comments above, but also it would be good to just repeat it. Now, in this reading, just as I'm doing here, it, this group is limited to 10 people and we have our own Facebook page. You have your own Facebook page once you have joined. So you're never taken off once you have participated. Once you do that, then um, you will receive the single card reading like I do here and I do for online tarot gallery reading. But the bonus of it is that Angie is there through the energy of the reading creating Yes, it is a whole lot of tens. That means it's really special and, and, and the epitome of everything. So this is really good. So, th which there are no accidents, right? There are no accidents, Wendy. So she will then be creating the oil blend that, re that will continue the energy of the reading till the next time we have the tarot flow because she will create the, the oil blend and send it to you and send it to you. So it is really great. So the, so the price is a little bit more than just the online tarot gallery reading because of the added bonus of the oil blend that you will receive. The, your card will be on the Facebook page that you will be a participant in. Now, uh, Angie, if I left anything out, please let me know the recording. Oh, there you go, Denise, the people that can blend from the last reading. I know, isn't it great? So the recording will be um, placed on the page for a limited time for download. Yes, the price includes the shipping too, exactly. So it's really exciting. We had such a great group. It created this phenomenal energy. Plus, you then received the oils in the mail that you got to apply. And um, I think Angie told us like what the oil on the Facebook page, the um, Tarot Flow Facebook page, what the oil meant, what it what it would extend in terms of energy for us what the uh, oils were in the blend and why they were there. So it's a lot of information. Plus then your card, your own personal card will be posted on the Facebook page. You can download it separately if you want to your phone. I love to do this and I do this with the online tarot gallery reading, but I send those through Messenger through that, that program. This way, the energy and the reading that you received will always be with you to carry you through that month if you're having those moments and this can happen the same way with tarot flow when you're having those moments you'll have both the oil and the card so it's like it's like a, a double support system to help you through this and again it's this saturday morning 10 10 at 10 of 2020 as angie pointed out so the it's uh bitly forward slash tarot tarot flow t-a-r-o-f-l-o and we're looking forward to seeing you there there is also the next online tarot gallery reading that will be the third thursday at seven o'clock and the new session that just opened up is tuesday at seven or at noon the special for this month and again i've used this but in uh, the new readings and the specials that come out are there because I've been called to to use them with clients and it's my feeling and the message that I receive in my downloads is that if a client is asking for this they're not the only one so this was a reading that I developed which is can I trust myself in my choices can I trust myself in my choices so with that you 
in that reading and it worked really well for my client in fact she messaged me a couple days later and she said she is still in the energy of that and it was so powerful can I trust myself in my choices many times we we look at ourselves and we think you know I don't know if that's really the best thing for me how can I do this it's a crossroads of, of in a sense of what choices should I make and then can I trust myself that was the whole point of today in talking about reframing the past through your thoughts today and seeing it differently. So again, this is the same thing, trusting yourself and your choices. And that's the special reading is 30 minutes. Normally $97, it is 49. So that's also a really, really good one as well. Vanetta, yay, I, I will be in touch with you today. Uh, do we have a November date for tarot flow? Um, not yet that I know of. Uh, actually, I think we did. Uh, Angie, didn't we do a tentative date? Let me just check my calendar here real quick. Because uh, I thought we did talk about it. And let's see what that was. And we were thinking, Angie and I, and we'd love your input on this, of alternating... So I don't have anything down for November. We were going to talk about that. What we started doing was one evening, a Thursday evening, and then another time, a Saturday morning. But your input is really important. What is What works best for you? Do you like the Saturday mornings? Or do you prefer a weekday evening? So either one can work for us. I think we set aside the 24th. I'm not sure about that, but I've got the 24th circled on my calendar, so I'm not sure, Ange, if you want to check that. 11-12 at 7 p.m. Um, okay, we, we need to talk about that because we have the online tarot gallery reading at, on the 15th. So we're trying to spread those out so that people can participate in both and the energy doesn't get... Um, yeah, we did talk about that. I'm sorry, Angie. So maybe we'll we'll see how that goes. It should be fine, but we'll talk about that. At any rate, I know Saturday mornings are pretty good. So either way, we're we're good with all of that. So it's really going to be exciting. The how we'll we'll get that date squared away, Wendy. So um, I'm excited. Oh, I'm looking at October. Okay, you're right. You're right. The 12th. Sorry, Ange. It, no wonder it didn't work. It was October. Okay, yes. Tarot Flow is Thursday at 7 o'clock on November 12th. Sorry. I flipped my page. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> For those of you that know me, you know that's not a surprise. <laughs> I wish you a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I wish you a day of peace, a day of loving yourself and where you are right now. Love where you are right now. The past has no influence. The present is where the power is and the future we are creating. All of it, love where you are right now. It is a beautiful day. I hope I've covered everything. Um, the special for this month, which is Can I Trust Myself in My Choices? And uh, again, that's a half an hour reading, half price at $49, so it's really, really good. And the other is the Tarot Flow. It's exciting. We had such a great time. And it's called the Pea Picking Blend because uh, Ruth was... We started talking about Ruth making a cake that's called the, uh, the pea picking cake. And so as it turned out, our blend got the same name. And we had a hilarious time creating that. So I know, yes. So see yourself whole, healthy, and well. See yourself enough right now. And all is well. And you are satisfied in this moment because you are thriving. You are flourishing. And that's how you reframe anything for today. Oh, Pam, you are most welcome. 
you are most welcome and we will hold you in the light we will continue doing that i am so happy that you get on with this with us and with this wonderful supportive group because we're all sending you energy positive energy i love you all i thank you so much for letting me do this because i love doing it and please remember Joy has your name on it. Have a wonderful Sunday. Thank you.